Morning, we're only a few days away from autumn and it feels like I've got the jumper back on and summer seems to have just flown past. We've had a bit of a wet summer in the UK, dried out recently. Uh, but what I've uh, come, come in towards my end of summer agronomy audit, uh, last few days of August, the first thing I'm going to talk about is pathogen activity and especially dollar spot. That has become more and more of an issue in the UK and I've just started noticing it on a few greens over the last couple of years. Not too bad, but definitely noticing it on a few greens. And there's a couple of observations that I will give you what I've noticed with dollar spot first thing is it seems to come into the same position every year um i've yeah seen that on quite a few sites now and then the second um i'm just walking the site at the moment haven't seen a spore out here and then i'll literally go to another course 10 minutes away and it's uh, getting a lot of activity so there are a few things that i would uh notice and what i would suggest is you you just you know, mark these down if you notice a certain tea that's getting activity you can put in a preventative plan for next year to just offset that so it's good historical data is always uh, really important and uh, especially for dollar spot uh i've been asked on social media what's the main drivers well yeah it's good old pathogen activity is uh, leaf wetness high humidity some of these things are out of your control though you know when that when it's getting hot and it's getting wet and it's getting humid uh you will need to put a protection measure in there uh, at, at certain points so and I think that's a challenge for some guys. You know, some guys are not having to worry about it. Other guys are. And it's, uh, yeah, definitely building up over the years. Uh, and then the other thing, as we come out of summer, you know, we've got all our end of season competition. Uh, we've got lots of uh, performance um, targets still to hit. But be careful. You know, yes, you've got to get your performance levels right. Played Ian in Scratch Open on Sunday and, yeah, Ollie had his performance levels right. But you've got to protect the turf. You know, just start looking at any edges that start getting a bit weak. Any greens. Remember the pain in the arse greens? Everyone's got them, three or four greens. Just start protecting them. You don't have to cut them every day. You can just bring that uh, back left corner in that just dries out. Shape that in for a few days. You might want to, you know, cut one day, roll the next. So, but keep your performance levels up, but protect your turf because we need strong turf as we uh, as we head into autumn unfortunately